What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, my name is Josh and I am back with another cooking video. Today I will be cooking Rice Krispie Treats. Not just any kind of Rice Krispie Treats, but Fruity Pebble and Cocoa Pebble Rice Krispie Treats. So, the ingredients you need is really simple. You just need marshmallows, butter, and then any type of cereal you want to make. Um, yeah, any type of cereal you want to make uh, with Rice Krispie Treats. Because you don't just need the regular cereal Rice Krispies. But anyways guys, we are about to get into this cooking video. Uh, hope you guys enjoy this video. Make sure you smash the like button. And we are just about to get into it. Alright guys, so the first step to making Rice Krispie Treats is to put butter in it. So, it says put two, like a half a stick of butter, but I'm just going to use whatever butter I have left. Oh, so. There we go. And after you turn on the stove, put your butter in. That sounds nasty. And when you put the butter in, you just you just want it to melt, and then uh, once you let it melt, you move on to the next thing. So uh, let's just wait for it to melt a little bit. Turn it up a little higher. Guys, you can use a uh, lot smaller pan than this. This is just the only pan that uh, I found, really. So uh, I used it. But any pan is good. It's just, I mean, I guess it depends on how much Rice Krispies you are making and uh, how much marshmallows you have. Because marshmallows depend on uh, how much Rice Krispies you have because it makes it sticky. It makes it, it make, it makes it Rice Krispies. So. Uh, the butter is almost not melting, so I will get back to you guys when um, the butter is fully melted so we can uh, throw the marshmallows in and watch it melt too. Alright guys, next step, put the marshmallows in. And when you put the marshmallows in, make sure you stir like frequently, not occasionally, frequently. Because you don't want the uh, marshmallows to stick on the pan because then that would ruin the fact of Rice Krispies. So you just keep stirring and stirring until the marshmallows become nice and gooey. Ooh, they smell so good. I'm gonna let you guys see what it looks like. That's what it looks like so far. So if it looks like that when you're doing it, then you're doing it right. So you just keep stirring and stirring and stirring. Make sure your heat's not on too much. Just gotta have it just at the right temperature. I put it at medium, medium to low, probably right in the middle. Depending if you're hungry or not, you can put it on uh, high if you want. That's up to you. Alright guys, 
guys, so the marshmallows has officially been melted. Uh, let me show you guys real quick. Oh. So that is the finishing product of the marshmallows being melted. So if it looks like that, you're good. Move on to the next step. So the next step is, I mean, easiest step, and the step you guys all been waiting for is you get the marshmallows. Make sure you turn your heat off because I almost forgot. But you get you get your uh, melted marshmallows and you mix the cereal and the marshmallows together, and uh, then you'll have Rice Krispie treats. But here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna do the I think it's the third step. So let's do it. Let me get my stuff prepared. All right, guys. Well, got my marshmallows, got my Rice Krispie treats, got my other pan to dump two things in because uh, I'm gonna have one fruity pebbles, one cocoa pebbles. So I'm gonna just, I'm gonna do it my way. So, uh, got my fruity pebbles there. And I'm going to melt it. Okay, okay. Mix it together. Again, it depends all on you how much uh how much uh, marshmallows you want to put like in the rice, how much melted marshmallows you want to put in to make uh, however gooey, however gooey you want it, sticky, however good you want it uh, mixed with the fruity pebbles. I mean, I like it like that. That's pretty good if you guys can see it. And it sticks down. So I got my fruity pebbles ready. And You see that? So the fruity pebbles are good. So let me, now I'm just gonna make, I mean, just a whole bunch, whatever, whatever rest I have with the uh, cocoa pebbles. So I'm just gonna dump them all in here, or not the whole box, but a good amount. Okay, I think that's enough. So, Put them all in there, just gotta stir them up. Ooh, I need another spoon. No, guys, I'm gonna use the same spoon. Not a spoon, but I'm going to use a spatula. I've never really made cocoa rice krispies, so I don't, I don't even know if it's going to turn out right. I'm going to add a little bit more. Cocoa pebbles to this one. Ooh, it's turning out great, guys. It's turning out fantastic. Now I'm gonna add a little bit more. Cause you gotta you gotta even out the marshmallows and the cereal. You don't wanna. You want to have it even. You want to have 50-50 of each because you don't want to overpower it with the cereal. You don't want to overpower it with marshmallows. I'm 
gonna add a little bit more cereal again. I mean, I had a lot of marshmallows in this one. I should have evened it out with more because uh, fruity pebbles are also good too. But uh, that's okay, because I like both. All right, guys. So that's done. So here's the cocoa pebbles. Looks good too. You see it. You see it drip dropping in here. And then, of course, I got my fruity pebbles with it, which look delicious too. So uh, that's how you guys make. That's how you make uh, rice krispies. Um, it's really simple. Uh, it's only a four-step thing. So you melt the butter, then you get the marshmallows, put it in, melt that too, get the cereals whatever cereal you would like, and then you pour it together, stir it up, and then that's Rice Krispies. I'm gonna taste it. I mean, I know it's good, but I'm just gonna taste it. So here's the fruity pose. Mmm. Mm-mm. That's good. Mmm. Alright guys, so that's the Fruity Pebbles. I mean, the Fruity Pebbles were a success as I knew they were going to be. Cocoa Pebbles. Mm -hmm. That is my first time having Cocoa Pebble Rice Krispie Treats. That was delicious. But yeah guys, that is Fruity Pebble and Cocoa Rice Krispie Treats. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. Hope you guys cook this at home because it's four easy steps. I mean, I don't see one out. I mean, you guys probably already have done this because who hasn't? But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want me to keep doing cooking videos. I'll probably keep doing them anyways. But love you guys. Peace.